course, Reddit, another issue for Siege Mode is the new Siege Mode is almost here. I think it comes out tomorrow. I don't know when this goes up, probably tomorrow, but it's coming like really soon. We already have information about gameplay and rewards. Now, before we dive into this, I wanted to actually go into game chat and see what people are saying. Because people are talking, we're in English 1, people always talk, people are always going to complain. So let's let's kind of scroll up here and see if we just... Terrible game mode, right here. Uh, the reason I'm going through the in-game chat is because I feel like this is also a good way to find out what the community thinks of this new siege mode. What joke rewards? Yeah, let's, you, uh, let's give you 12 days to prep so you have an even harder time managing our constant events and tournaments. The rewards are shit, ass rewards, people will stop doing siege once they get the void lego champion, probably, ah uh, okay, uh, the new gear set looks good, people always complain, they made it worse than then, they made it worse than CBC, rewards are awful, the new void fragment champion looks good, The C it's CBC on coke, Wait and what? Uh, wait to see what it's like before trashing, trashing it. People are always going to complain about a bad game. What a surprise. Uh, it takes approximately eight years to get the new Fragment Champion based on my calculations. I need wine. I mean TTA. Let's see. Rewards are still unknown. Uh, perfect timing. 20th anniversary we can pull her. Eight years is awesome. If you T1 out. Yeah, so basically um, a lot of people are also not digging it either. And the reason I checked here is because a lot of people were saying like, oh, you can't really, and I'm not, I'm not contesting them. I'm not saying that it's a, you know, they're wrong. I'm agreeing with what people are saying in my comments that I shouldn't only look to Reddit to see what people are saying. And maybe, you know, some people might say, oh, you know, the in-game chat isn't exactly the best place to, um, to go ahead and, and look, but you know, I'm going to start looking at other, or other places. So, I mean, let's, let's just go to YouTube. Let me pull this off the side here off to the side and let's go ahead and take a look at i don't know um we'll just type in siege raid shadow legends siege legends siege and we'll see what people are saying in like the first video okay so here the first video that pops up hello everyone and we'll see what people say here make sure you stockpile some aspirin major headaches coming in a lot of people hurt uh, a lot of people about to be clanless after this, that's funny. When I quit my job, I'll focus on the new features. Three whole primal quartz from winning? That's hilarious. That's it? Three primal quartz? What? Guys, I get it's a preview, but really, no one. Like, no one in your company didn't notice that giving three crystals for 14 days of events is going to have a massive riot? What the fuck is that chest reward? Let's ju let's see what they're responding. Let's, let's see what Raid is responding to. Hi there, we really hope there's no need for aspirin. No headaches will come your way. Super excited about the blah, 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 blah. PR. What the fuck is that chest reward? Hey there, we're looking forward to Siege going live. Give it a try, form your opinions, then share your feedback. We hope you'll like it. You guys still aren't doing anything to the token trader. Same champions in the market. Have more valuable items or Minotaur. Hey there, what I can do is pass along your suggestion for future consideration. Thank you for voicing them. Yeah, this is the like the pretty... This is like the best way you can respond other than not responding. Unless you're like me, then I'm going to address it and just be petty as shit because that's just what I feel like doing sometimes. Make the rewards that are actually worth the time. Hope you give it a try. See if you like it, then give your... Okay, so copy paste answers. Looks interesting. Thanks for sharing your feedback. Team did a great job, but a lot of uh, clans are already stretched thin. Trying to get them to compete in Hydra and CVC. Hope I'm wrong. Please remember you can give a sacred void primal to when you add prices for the new features. I pretty much play every spare minute that I can. Your update will add another three days, uh, three hours to the day. Why are the rewards for tier five worse than four? Six star Lego piece is better than five than a five star mythical. Don't think it was made for me, and I have loads of time to play. The rewards are heartbreaking. Three frag. So I think the general consensus that I'm getting from here on the YouTube channel um, comments is that the rewards look bad. Maybe find a way to entice more players with the modes you already have. Barely get the members in my clan to participate in Hydra. It's hilarious that with all the updates and the new things added to the game, the best thing anyone can do is down UN. UNM probably and complete Doom Tower hard mode because at least that gives you a shot at a sacred. 
you would think that new in-game modes would at least match that or top that. All this is a plaything for the Krakens and Whales. No one will benefit except for the top 10 clans. Hope your clan will give it a try. Yeah, of course. Looks like a solid way to drain non-whales of all resources. So I'm getting this correct. You could spend three days prepping and fighting, fail to destroy the stronghold, get no rewards except for those to help repair and improve your next battle, but zero actual rewards for your account if the stronghold is not destroyed. Yeah. Not sure on all this. If I'm listening correctly, all I have to do is win one battle. Is so Also, having to win one battle is so crazy. There's going to be so many times where that's not going to be possible for someone that should be, at best, they participated, not one. This release is dead or alive. Devs are not listening to the community. You have to address the time issues before you release new time-consuming content. That's true. We've talked about this ad nauseum. There's so much to do in Raid. It's time-consuming as shit. I'm like... Anyway, I've told you guys, you don't have to play it if you don't want to. That's the best thing. If you don't like Raid, just quit. If you don't like Raid, only play as long as you want to play with the content that you want to play. Drop insane rewards, including shards like Clan Boss. What th Watching this shows me you've done neither of those. Just looking at the rewards, I can already see it's going to be passive content. Also, how are we going to organize the clans to do attack and defense? The clan interactions, communications in-game are non-existent. That's true. This is going to be so bad, you have us war you you've been warned. It's true because, like... I don't communicate in-game anymore. Ever since becoming a content creator, ever since becoming more uh, involved in my clan, we're all on Discord. We do Discord. We don't do in-game chat. Barely anybody talks in in-game chat. Siege itself is an entire new game. How long does the prep phase last? 12 days after the previous siege has ended. So yeah, exactly like CVC. Really hope that you can use strategic moves to lead to victory other than the strongest that wins. That is the key feature of the game, tragic to beat and win. This helped my understanding. My understanding, I'm more excited. Uh, let's see. You guys put a lot of thought and work into this. So my first words are, wow, very well done. It's a very rare occasion where I see a mobile game put this, but, and I like these positive, uh, positive uh, comments too. Just to let you guys know, add detail into a PVP mechanic of all things. Please do send my regards to the dev team. That's responsible for making this. However, I do have one critique. Lend me your ear, dev team. What about the people who do not have the freedom of an active clan? Join an active clan. Or what about the people who are not powerful enough to participate, probably me, while we while we still get the will we still get the victory chest if we just sideline them cheering them on? Probably not. It's raid. And as for the defeat chest, if there is one. Will we still get access to the same rewards as the victory chest, but in smaller portions? That would be nice. That would be ideal. But it's also Polarium. Finally, I do think the rewards should be in far, far greater portion whether you win or lose. As this does not seem like an easy task. It's not. This is not a raid boss. You can set your team to auto. A lot of thought and strategy is going to be going into this. With all that hard work, I don't think there's room for strategy for stingy rewards. I uh, think of those 10 primal, think of those 10 legendary champions, which means 10 victories will get you a legendary champion, one primal reward. Keep this in mind, it will be a very long time, a uh, very long time regardless, even if you blah, blah, blah. Uh, be realistic, you will lose more than that. Uh, rewards should be more valuable, basically. They said, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Appreciate the feedback. We'll make sure it's heard. Yeah, same thing. Looks fun. Can't wait. Too much time spent. Yeah, so, uh, you know, there you go. I've checked YouTube comments, I've checked the in-game comments, and now I'm gonna go back to checking for um, people's opinions in Reddit, which seem to reflect the same as YouTube comments as well as in-game comments, but if you guys have anywhere else uh, you think I should check out, let me know. I, you know, And I, I try to get you guys to comment in my stuff too, to, so that I can get your guys' direct feedback. Uh, Darren is someone who you know comments all the time and gives huge feedback. Um, Sam, obviously is another person who is very vocal about uh you know what she says what she thinks and it's usually in alignment with whatever i'm thinking so you know people commenting thank you uh, it's not just for youtube it's just so i can keep a pulse in the community all right the big issue is what are we gonna is how are we going to do that in game, yeah, so big pile of trash. In game is trash. My clan has a Discord. We use WhatsApp. I don't think it should be. Uh, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have another app just to communicate with your clan. I really hope Polarium works for better in game chat. 
So here's a, another big issue is the chat. They can't even display the champ's name in the vault or the soul collection. How in the world are they going to improve the chat system? I can't even read the damage when playing on my phone because of the color and size. They've known that for four years. Wholeheartedly agree. We need, D we need to DM as clan leaders. It'd be nice to have some sort of in-game messaging. I feel like Discord made every developer feel like they don't need to work on a chat system. That's true. Because why make your own app? Why make your own chat system if Discord's there? A mail system might work nicely. The important thing is that the clan chat is not glitchy. Prior to chat information is not wiped on a daily basis. That's true. Just you wait. They're going to release a chat system. Next big invention since sliced bread. Yeah, so Discord like everybody else. Siege looks not interesting. The past updates have been fairly good with epic empowerment and more gear slots like 5 out of 5. But I don't know about this one. It seems like they combined the elements of arena game uh, modes, CVC, Hydra Clash into one single game mode. The worst of the worst. A feature that will be on a lot of people's play uh, people's wish list, the guy said in the first video. What about stage 15? Stage 25 minutes or? True. Seems like, um, seems like a lot do... Oh, seems like a lot to do in-game that already has a lot to do. For real, I know Pal Palarium has to introduce new content to keep the game relevant, but seriously, they need to look into adding time savers for this game for older content like auto-complete battles or something. Completely overwhelmed when I started two years ago. Can't imagine what a new player thinks now. Yeah, there's so much to do. There's a lot to do. I don't even know what... If I, were to, if I was going to start a new account, I wouldn't know where to go, what to focus on. There's just so much to do. It looks like it takes a lot of time. A full clan receive very mediocre rewards. It looks like it takes a lot of time. How time consuming you said a defense. Okay, this guy is, uh, yeah, anyway. Summary, ignore on arrival. Yeah, you can just ignore this. You're right, just ignore it. Doesn't look very time consuming. Drop in three defense teams during the day, 12, period, uh, 12 day period, then attack four times during a two day period. Clan leadership is going to be herding cats to get everything lined up properly i would guess uh most clans just do whatever win or lose based on the strength of their gear basically yeah that's true um you might have extra time but not really for me it's it's a hassle is what it is i think it's a big hassle and the rewards from what i'm seeing aren't that nice in game chat so much negativity and a lot of misinformation for something people haven't tried first you get three guaranteed battles three rematches if you fail plus some battles against the mana building 12 battles versus ai two days effectively six arena battles a day if you know time for this every two weeks this is fine but stop acting like it's hours of grinding it will require a few more dedicated clans uh, members to coordinate a route to the fortress to destroy it it looks like it takes about six buildings destroyed three to four members in tier one higher tiers that are actually trying will require seven to ten members coordinating you're welcome to be one of the members just attacking random buildings for extra points zero percent coordination it looks like the winner will get um it looks like the winner will get more rewards but the loser will still get some rewards depending on how hard the clan tried looks well done Tryhards with more time will do the bulk of the work. Casuals will reap some questionable rewards. True. Negativity? I'm telling you how I feel. So to summarize, negative three guaranteed battle. Oh, to summarize, three guaranteed battles, three more rematches. Like Hydra, you get a second chance. About 12 battles, mini building over two days. Six more battle arenas. Gotcha. It will, it's going to require... Oh, so his answers are right, right here. Uh, uh, coordination with the team, you mean like you have to stay up late or wake up super early to push in Hydra like 3v3, attacking random uh, blah blah blah. 0% uh, percent coordination, the more points, the more rewards, and the loser still gets something on how hard the clan tried. This is long, not gonna lie, I mean even Polarium took two videos to explain. Negative 9 upvotes, downvotes, they are arena fights, it takes around 10 seconds. Depends on the arena fight, but yeah. I get what you're saying, but personally, maybe things will be all gloomy and doomy, willing to see how things pan out. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm willing to see how things pan out, too, just to, you know, kind of see. It does look overcomplicated, unnecessary, like the whole clan will be in need to communicate. And, I, I mean, it all boils, like, I think you guys get the point, right? Game about, it's a game for people who spend money, rip off of Dis Disney Arena. <laughs> 
It's a fourth played uh, PvP mode. You guys are getting the sentiment. It's the same thing for in-game chat, the same thing for, and here we go, The it's three primals. Same thing for, oh my god, this is a bad run. Um, same thing for, uh, what do you call it? Everybody's saying the same thing, basically. Uh, a lot of people are going to be negative about it, but a lot of people are negative about a lot of things that come out in Raid. I'm going to wait to see what happens, and then I'll make a decision. But what do you guys think? That's just what the community is saying so far.